Welcome to Monday Morning Carnage and uh, on our Monday morning today we have had to remove the wall plates which, which strangely enough was on the outside skin there uh, steel set on pad stones and we're about to cut away the ridge here to put another piece of steel through into the wall at that side coming off some sort of uh, post here so we're going to see how that goes a little bit later today but uh, today I've got a furry boot using lava at the weekend and uh, I had to do a bit of an emergency thing on the bottom of my boot because I was dribbling lava all over the customer's patio so we opted for some strand mat in there and that's how I look like Monday morning furry boots but uh, we have stripped the fuck out of this building and as you can see, we are very good at fucking the place up. So, steels for the floors, in, floor in sort of there, with a bit more floor come the other side of that wall for our staircase and landing. But uh, the floor's just about done. Uh, this week is not a good week for building loft conversions. It's going to absolutely hammer down. And I'm a little bit concerned if I... Remove the hip bone there from its fix to the wall plate, the whole roof could lift. Because these tarpaulins are like big sails and we will we'll get a lift if I don't keep it fixed because tomorrow is high winds. But uh, thinking to be done there. But uh, like I said, we're about to blow a hole in the in the wall over there. We didn't do it straight away this morning. We thought we'd uh, be nice to the neighbour and allow him a bit of a sleep in, but we are about to blow a big hole in that wall. Nice and loud, wake the neighbour up. And then we're going to stand something on the inside skin here to hold our piece of steel up. And then the bricklayer being Wednesday morning to start building this cable end. And then we'll produce a new front roof. No more hip. And then a big ass loft conversion out to the rear of here. And all the scaffolding prep for that. What you guys do this shit, jumping around on ladders. And uh, your lads all twisting your ankles and that. That's not how you do it, guys. Keep your men safe first. Scaffolding it is. No twisted ankles. Because my ankles are blown out. Check the state of my boots. Them boots, I have had my money's worth. I buy a pair of these, one pair a year. They last me forever. I'm not going to tell you what make they are. Because they don't pay me any money, so I'm gonna leave you there looking at my boots. See you later.